Today, we're going to cover designing Power BI dashboards in dark mode. And dark mode is a user interface that actually leverages a dark background with light colors for text and visual elements. And it's actually become really popular because proponents believe it can reduce eye strain when we're working on the computer all day long. And when it comes to analytics dashboards, dark themes can really accentuate reports and help draw an end user's attention to key facts and figures. So today we're going to give an overview of what dark mode is, why we like to focus on key metrics when we're designing dark mode dashboards, avoiding pure black colors when we're building out that color theme itself, using desaturated colors, and then limiting the use of text when we are building out a dashboard in dark mode. And this will give us a good starting point for understanding dark mode and kind of the basics for designing Power BI dashboards in dark mode. To give an overview of what dark mode is, we're actually looking at Numero's sales dashboard template in light mode. And this is what we're accustomed to looking at the majority of the day. When we're in light mode, we're gonna have a white or lighter background with black text on top of that. We're used to reading text kind of, you know, black, black text on top of a white background. This is typically what we see throughout the day on web pages, unless we specifically have our computer or operating system set to dark mode. But conversely, I'm going to pull up the same template in its dark mode version, and this just flips that on its head. We have a darker background, and we actually have white lettering on top of those darker background elements. And proponents of dark mode, they're, they're really interested in how this can actually reduce the amount of blue light that's coming through the screen and ultimately decrease uh, the amount of eye strain that we experience throughout the day being on our computers all day. And interestingly, a lot of developers actually like to code in dark mode, kind of set that setting in their console. And so we really, we wanna take a look at dark mode today why you might want to design a dashboard in dark mode, and when you do design a Power BI dashboard in dark mode, how to do that strategically so that we're using the right color themes, we're making things pop off the page, and we are actually getting people excited and, and focused on this dashboard versus maybe having too vibrant of colors and, and it ended up being distracting. Now, as with any dashboard, the first question you're going to ask yourself is, what data are we putting on this dashboard? What are we focusing on? And we tend to to think that when using a dark mode theme, we really want to focus on key metrics and KPIs. You know, we talked about how this white text on this darker background really stands out, but in general, the dark mode dashboard is really going to help data pop off of the page. And if we want people focusing on those key metrics and KPIs and making sure those are as easy to read and interpret as possible for our teams, we think those are the types of reports that we should really be emphasizing in dark mode. So when you sit down and say, hey, what am I building on this dashboard? Uh, again, when we're, when we're using dark mode, we really want to focus on key metrics, simple reports, KPIs, individual single value metrics, and visualizations that look really good on this page, more so than, you know, prioritizing text-based information. Now, when you think about dark mode, the first color that might come to your mind is probably black, right? We are talking about darkness, but we actually recommend avoiding a purely black color. As you can see, this dashboard uses a darker color on the gray scale than black, and most designers tend to avoid pure black as well because it does limit the number of colors that can be layered on top. And I can actually go ahead and change this over to black just to show the difference. And not only does it limit the overall color palette that we can choose of, of colors that are going to really look good on top of the pure black, but also pure black is just harsher on the eyes. As you can see, this is really standing out. If the whole dashboard, if every single report on this had that black background, it, it is just a little difficult to perceive by the eye and, and feels a little harsh. Whereas our whole main benefit of leveraging dark mode is that we're limiting that blue light and we're actually reducing our eyes strain that we usually get when we're working on the computer all day. The next thing we recommend is to use a color palette that really focuses on desaturated colors. 
And color saturation is really just the intensity of the color. When we saturate a color, it's going to be more intense, more vivid. And when we desaturate a color, it's going to be more dull. You know, a completely desaturated color is actually just gray. But if we look at this red that we have that we're using in the top line of this bar graph, this is a desaturated red. You know, for example, the purest form of red, that hex code is actually F, F, 0, 0, 0, 0. And if we were to change that out to just that pure red color, we can see how vibrant this red is now compared to how it used to look. And there's nothing inherently wrong with this, but again, our whole purpose in creating a dark mode dashboard is reducing eye strain and having this be really readable. And saturated colors can actually have a counteractive effect to that goal. Uh, this is just a little vibrant and it actually makes it hard to look at, hard to read. It's just a little too harsh when we get into those really saturated hues of a particular color. So again, we're gonna focus on picking desaturated colors in our color palette and also we like to you know have no more than four to five different colors that we're using because even if we're using desaturated colors using too many different colors in reports can also be distracting our final tip for designing power bi dashboards in dark mode is to really limit the use of text on the dashboard so here in our template we do have some report titles we have the actual metric values in text but otherwise this is not a text heavy dashboard at all and we like this because our eyes are actually trained you know whether we're reading newspaper articles or blog posts online pretty much all of our reading that we do day to day is done in light versus dark mode and our eyes are trained this in this setting and it can make reading text on a dark background kind of foreign and difficult for some users so we really do recommend prioritizing visualizations that limit the use of text maybe not necessarily having lengthy descriptors of what a report is doing you know data tables definitely are text heavy we don't have a data table represented on this particular dashboard not to say you can't have a data table on a dark mode dashboard, but just consider it, take a look at it, see if it's difficult to read or if you're getting any feedback from your end users that they're having a hard time with that particular report in dark mode. You know, we really do want this to be focused on KPIs and easy visualizations that are gonna pop off that dark background versus having users read a lot of text. That's it for today's tutorial on designing Power BI dashboards in dark mode. We hope you found this informative and that you're feeling a little bit more comfortable with what dark mode is and some basic design tips for where to get started. We also have all of Numero's Power BI dashboard templates available in dark mode for download. And we have a blog on dark mode that explores this a little further as well if you're looking for a little bit more content. Otherwise, thank you so much for tuning in and have a great day.